In the install process, the data model installer will appear. This will allow you to add new data models or update existing models or delete a data model from your system. Data models contain all the business intelligence required for reporting over a particular product or writing data back to a product. There are by default two data models. One is the system and the other is AdventureWorks which is used for uh, demonstration purposes. If during the install process you do not add a data model and want to add the data model afterwards, you can launch the installer by going to the start menu and selecting on data model installer. For this example I'll add a accounting system data model called Exapta from Microsoft. I'm going to click on the add button and browse for files that end in the extension meta and I've got two files here one is for a payroll system and one is for Exapta. I'll open the, this file and you can see that it's added Microsoft Dynamics Exapta to the list. If I was to delete a data model from the system I would just delete it from using the menu system. The other common use is if there's a new version of a data model you could then select update and browse for the file and add it to the system. After selecting the data models that you want to include on the computer then click on finish. This will start rebuilding the data models on your computer system. It's important that when rebuilding data models that you do not have any applications running at that time, for example Excel or a service, because this will lock the data models and the recompile will fail. After recompiling the data models, you can then define the connections to the data models by going into Client Setup. Before adding Exapta, I only had AdventureWorks and System in the Local Connections folder, but now I've got a new entry called Exapta. And by clicking on the connection, I can define the connection to Exapta and save. And now that I've added the data model, we're ready to start writing reports.